with a new mod test for Wednesday, October the 5th. And this is Malt Production by Zodal Zoct. 4.01 megabytes of download. So very low on the download. 19 slots on console. I'm on PS5. This is for all platforms. It's, um, well, just as it says, a malt production. So as you can see here, we have some bags of malt that we have produced already. <clears throat> So, uh, let's find it first in Productions, down here, and there it is, $215,000 malt productions. It will take wheat, water, corn, and barley. I know there's barley malt, wheat malt, yeah, wheat, corn malt, yeah, sure, I guess. Um, place it anywhere like so. Right, so, um, a few things to go through first. This, uh, when you place it, this will look like thus. Uh, you won't be able to put anything into it until you, let's put our uh, help window on here. There we go. Notice open gate, circle, there you go. Now you can uh, input materials. Uh, another thing that you need to know about Zotalzot's mods, <clears throat> he almost always, if not 99, 100% of the time, has this gray box at the back or somewhere around the ve uh, around the, the vehicle, the um, factory that has these switches, and we will switch them all off. I had them all on. Right, so, kind of neat too, it's kind of distressed concrete uh, old factory style, well, factory. Kind of neat. <clears throat> so as you notice, there is just the standard uh, base game marker. No signs or anything. No lights. Uh, these are all the switches. So the first switch is show information panel. And now we have seasoning from grain. Malting, seasoning, malt. So we get the uh, corn, or no, that's a wheat, barley, corn right okay <clears throat> then we have show trigger markers that would be the in and in also buried in here we have an out right okay and then the uh, warning stripes are the yellow stripes now that's pretty uh straightforward here here it kind of shows you the area where the products will spawn. We still have a little bit of room out there. <clears throat> and then we have turn on the lights, which is... There we go. Ah, we see it's all kind of that yellower light. Very well lit, actually. It's odd that the lights themselves aren't shining. That might be just a bit of an oversight. Right, okay, so let's look at our uh, factory production chains. We have the wheat, barley, and corn. Uh, they, the um, input capacity, incoming material capacity, 100,000 liters. <clears throat> Outgoing capacity um, does not say. We're going to see if we can hit that at some point. Uh, I know we have this is uh, the spawn point is full and will be full once this last one spawns here. Uh, they are not liftable. They are uh, uh, 420 kilograms. Uh, recipe. So, yes, we were in there. They all have the same recipe. Uh, and it is interesting to note, 150 liters of water to 500 liters of whichever grain you choose. So that's only 650. You get 750 out, which is bonus. Uh, 48 cycles per month, cost per month, uh, 360. All right, so we got those all turned on. Let's do one quick check here. First is in will the auto load, will these auto load into an auto load trailer? Now this one is the uh, the one by Raleigh, uh, Raleigh Christie 1 and 
Will it let me? Refill, refill. Oh yes, oh, I gotta press, oh okay. I have to press the L3 to start the refill. That's okay. Can't remember if they automat. Sometimes it automatically loads. Sometimes okay. So there we go. We have we have our answer. Uh, the auto load trailer will now. When you're using an just a, as a side note, uh, remember that if you're using an auto load trailer to load products from a spawn point, it's good to have only one type of product in that spawn point. Otherwise. <clears throat> um, it's you're going to lose a lot of product. the pr The problem is, it'll load one, and if it's under five percent capacity, it'll start loading another one, and you'll lose whatever. It'll override whatever you have in there. It's a really weird little situation with the uh, with the capacities on. Um, it's it it happens with uh, combines. It happens with anything that you load. You can load product into in an auto load well especially the auto load ones so just a note if you're going to use an auto load trailer to load product uh, make sure there's only one type of product that you in that spot that you're going to load right okay so we have turned them all on <clears throat> we're going to go forward in time and see what happens i'm probably going to go forward until we fill up the capacities and see how much capacity it can hold oh sell prices before we go even go there here it is sell prices uh, wheat barley and corn malt <clears throat> uh, the sell everything uh, is the mm, the sell anything from Schultz modding that I always have on all my tests and then the wholesale is the actually the uh, sell point from Zotalzot himself and just to for just for comparison because I'm wondering it's like okay well will he give a better price from his uh, sell point and the answer is basically no they are nearly identical uh, allowing for price fluctuations of course so there you have it you don't have to have the Zotalzot's wholesale, uh, any, well, not any sell point, the sell everything sell point will work. Right, okay, so having said that, sleepy time, we'll see you after. Right on, hey, we're back. So, uh, what is the, uh, what what is the progress? What has happened? Uh, let's see here, does it differentiate? Oh yeah, this is, this is wheat, this is barley. We got wheat and barley mixed up. Oh, we got some corn malt here. So yeah, if you come up, I mean, maybe I'll show that. Maybe show you that. However, uh, you want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. So it's about four, three or four months. I I'd lost track. It's like going for, ah, nothing's happened. Nothing's happening. So it's not the fastest horse in the stable as far as production goes. Uh, after about four months, we got 46, so say about 50,000 liters, and it looks like that's about halfway. So you're looking at 100,000 liters of storage inside, not including what spawns out here. Of course, there's quite a few that, there's a very large spawn area here, so that's kind of really nice. Let's, so we got, um, let's see, wheat, no, we got the bar, the bar is that wheat? Uh, I can't remember which one we have. It doesn't really, it's really difficult to show you, but let's, uh, I'll say we're at 15%, so we're, we're good. We can go over here and it won't load anything but, the, uh, the wheat that we have. Uh, how easy is it to sell? We should be able to just go over top of a sell point. Yeah, there we go. And sell it just like so. Now let's see if we can grab uh, grab this one here. So 3%. There, let's go over here. 
And, oh, come on. Yeah, there's, anyways, if I were had to have, say, some corn in there, and then I, less than 5%, and I would try to pick up some, went over here, it would start picking up the malt, and it would delete all the corn, so, th that's, I don't know why it's being difficult now. I wonder if they had an update about that. Hmm. No, because it happens to me a few times recently, so... Anyways, very easy to sell with the auto load. Of course, you want to pick it up with a big bag lifter or forklifts, uh, forks on a tractor or something. You could do that too. Uh, input material. Materials going in. We will show you that. Come on, big fella, let's go. The one, the, the inputs area is a little bit awkward, but not too bad. You can kind of squeeze in. I got the belly dump here, and as you can see, easy to go in, no problems there. <clears throat> Same with the water, uh, any water tank. Uh, should work. I can't. I haven't tested them all. Uh, the water trigger pops up pretty generously, like here. Depending on the tank or two, some of them might be a little bit less generous about where the trigger pops up. But as you can see, water is going in very easily. And there you have it. That is um, malt production by Zotalzot four point. 01 megabytes download, 19 slots on console. I'm Lily Farm Guy. Thank you for watching, and remember, it's only a game. So, till next time, bye for now.